Welcome everyone to Gamer Mail. Today we've got launch information on the GTX 1650, AMD's third gen Ryzen, and Navi, plus a new X570 board and yet another game is moving away from Steam. But first, check out today's sponsor, Mastrop, a group buy website with amazing deals on PC hardware. It's free to sign up, so what are you waiting for? Start saving now by visiting the link in the description below. Okay. It's news time, and first up for today, we have new information on the GTX 1650, specifically its release date. According to Video Cards, who's getting their information from AIB partners, the card is expected to launch on April 22nd. Obviously, that's this month, and don't let the AIB part fool you. Like the GTX 1660 and 1660 Ti, the 1650 is expected to be a third-party card only, so don't look for Founders Edition cards because they likely won't have them. With that said, we can probably expect first party cards from AMD, as today's news story comes from the Taiwan External Trade Development Council, who announced that AMD would be holding a keynote on May 27th at 10 a.m. at this year's Computex. AMD's CEO, with other quote, high profile guests, are delivering the keynote and will be going over upcoming products. These upcoming products include, quote, 7 nanometer AMD Epic data center processors, 3rd gen AMD Ryzen desktop processors, and graphics cards based on the next generation Navi architecture, all of which are designed to create exceptional experiences for gamers and creators, as well as help solve many of the toughest challenges in our lives. So there you have it. I'm really not 100% sure if it'll actually be released on the 27th or at least announced, but the keynote topic is the next generation of high performance computing, so you know we'll be getting something. According to WCCF Tech, we're going to be getting the announcement with an actual release in July. Now I'll use this time to go ahead and reveal that unfortunately I won't be attending Computex. I looked a little while back and the plane ticket prices alone are just too much right now. It sucks because I seriously wanted to go, but I will be holding a live stream where we can discuss the keynote as it's taking place. So definitely make sure to subscribe and mark your calendars for that. Next up for today, AMD's board partners are seriously stepping up their high-end motherboard for Zen 2 if this leak means what it should. Found on SciSoft's database, you can see a benchmark with an MSI MEG X570. Now, why that's such a big deal is because MEG is MSI's really high-end motherboards, currently is a Z390 along with Intel and AMD's enthusiast chipsets. Basically, for anyone who's been looking for more high-end boards from Ryzen, Zen 2 is your chance. The last bit of news today brings us to more of the gaming side of things with Ubisoft's upcoming title Anno 1800 being released exclusively on Uplay and the Epic Games Store. What's ridiculous is that the title was originally available for pre-order on Steam, and I'll say that Ubisoft didn't cancel those pre-orders, but the beta won't be available on Steam, and obviously people don't like the idea of their friends playing on another platform. Basically, this is yet another huge title that's moving away from Steam. And obviously competition is a good thing, but the only issue is that the Epic Game Store doesn't have reviews, and when they do, they plan to let publishers decide which titles they want reviews on, leading to consumers losing their voice. Of course, this could be just what Steam needs to lower their cuts in sales, hopefully leading to lower prices for consumers. So while that does it for today, let me know what you're most excited about from AMD's Computex appearance down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, definitely make sure to subscribe. And as always, have a great day.